Could you be walking around with a major risk for heart disease and not even know it? Well, we decided to find out. 13 ABC's Melissa Bates tonight has a look at what we found. Lee and Diane, there are people with pronounced warning signs of heart disease, and then there are a lot of people who may not have overt symptoms, but they are at risk. So we took a volunteer sample. Joe, Dana, and Eddie all have very different lives. Both Eddie and Dana have high-stress sales jobs. The basement is 2,200 square feet. Eddie is a realtor, and Dana is in car sales. Sonali's got these power retracting boards. Both are working parents juggling commitments. Joe has a very serious family history of early-onset heart disease. My grandfather had his first heart attack at the age of 35. My dad had acute tachycardia at the age of 44. At 47, Dana has had some problems with exercising and shortness of breath. I was told that I had a mitral valve prolapse, and uh, then years later I was told I didn't. Eddie is 50, and this is his first check. I never had uh, my heart checked. I had been a runner for the longest time and then started weightlifting. Mercy Health cardiologist Dr. Amir Kabor is going to put all our volunteers through a thorough heart evaluation, starting with a routine EKG. Uh, your EKG in general is acceptable, mm -hmm. but it's not normal 100%. To a more advanced echocardiogram of the heart, which uses ultrasound to check for a number of abnormalities such as valve leaks, a comprehensive test of how strong the heart is functioning and an ultrasound of the carotid arteries in the neck to see if there are any blockages that could lead to stroke. The report is pretty good for all three. So your pulse rate is good, your EKG, which is, as you can see, it looks like waves, is very normal. There's no major issues to be concerned about. However, Dana will wear a heart monitor for a few days to check for any issues she may have while working out. It comes back normal, and she's cleared to start an exercise routine. I'm excited to be able to work with somebody that can physically take my 47-year-old postmenopausal <laughs> needs to lose 50, doesn't remember how to do it anymore, back down to a picture of health. Eddie's more advanced echocardiogram shows his abnormal EKG is related to his workout. With you is related to the weightlifting. Okay. Because when you are doing the weightlifting, you are building up muscle, so the heart will get too strong and thicker by building up muscle, so it will cause that EKG change. Dr. Gabor says that's okay and will continue to monitor as Eddie, too, adds on to his regular training schedule. The most I can lift is 405 pounds, All right, so you but I've been lifting for 15 years. Joe checks out okay as well to start the training phase, but will need the most aggressive follow-up. It's, you know, 10 years away, 20 years away, but I know that I have to set up a good foundation today to make sure I don't have those troubles in the future. All three of our volunteers relieved to know they're okay for now, inspired to start a new regular exercise routine. They meet for an initial evaluation with trainer Keith Zoller at Fitness for All. We'll check back with them in eight weeks to see how they're doing. All right, so we still have a couple of more weeks before we're going to check back with them, but we'll, of course, have that report. Back to you, Lee and Diane. All right,